Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Good to be with you. I hope everyone is doing well. We had a great time last night in the house of the Lord. A lot of people were out last night, and uh, obviously um, people are sick and and dealing with a few things, and, and you probably heard of a few uh, last night as we mentioned them, but, uh, but it sure is good to be with you this morning, and I hope and pray that the Lord is blessing you, and I hope that you are, uh, you're doing well. You know, thank you for being, praying for Susan. She's doing better, a little, a little stronger and able to uh, mobilize a little bit easier. But she, she has a ways to go. So please continue to pray for her. Of course, pray for Pat Hewlett. And as we uh, receive updates, we'll let you know as well, okay? Well, as you know, we are in the Gospel of John in chapter 14. And I uh, want you to notice as we continue, look at verse number 3 of our text. The Bible says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, Jesus is speaking. He says, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there, ye may be also. You know what he's referring to, don't you? He's talking about heaven. One of these days, the Lord's coming back and praise the Lord for that. But you know, this was spoken to the disciples because they were they were discouraged, they were uh, dismayed, they they um, just was uh, sad because of the news that that they were realizing that Jesus was going to die on an old rugged cross and and uh, he was going to be buried and and the third day he would arise. But but the disciples were discouraged and and so Jesus is trying to comfort them and so. He points them to himself. He he says, you believe in God, believe also in me. And he then he talks about heaven. He says, you know, you know, I go to prepare a place for you. But the exciting thing about it, is, and that is this, and this is something that we are still waiting on the Lord to do, and that is this, coming back again. He's coming back, folks. He really is. Now, when, well, no one knows when, but you and I ought to be ready. You and I ought to be looking because, and let me read it to you again. It says this, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will receive you unto myself. That where I am, he says, there you may be also. Looking forward to being with Jesus in heaven. And I tell you, you know, I'm so thank thankful for the promises of God. So very thankful. Uh, that we can count on those promises. We mentioned a little bit of that last night in our, our message, but but today I want to encourage you. Hey, look up. Hey, let's don't allow this world to dominate our thinking, but let's remember and believe that Jesus is coming again. He is. Thank God this world is not our home. We're just passing through. One of these days we get to go home. One of these days we will. And so until then, be faithful. Until then, uh, don't forget the promises of the Lord. And let's live today as if it could be our last. Because the Lord can come back at any time. May the Lord bless you today. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the promise of, of heaven. Thank you, Lord, that one of these days you will come back to receive us to yourself. But Lord, until then, bless us and help us to be faithful. And Lord, may your will be done, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you today. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.